Hello everyone and now welcome to a 2v2 matchup Felio and Fabi going up against Relax and Xlord Felio spawning as well the purple night elf over here at what I'll call the 6 o'clock position Fabone spawning um, or Fabi is spawning as the purple human um, over here at the 9 o'clock side Meanwhile on the other side of the creek we have Relax spawning as the red N red night elf and finally x lord also spawning as the um excuse me as the red night elf this is a 2v2 matchup here there was a couple random players thrown in there as well as we get this game underway let's go ahead and just get to that two minute mark see what we are going to be looking for ourselves relax opening things up with a keeper of the grove demon hunter coming in from the other night elf meanwhile failio spawning or getting up a demon hunter and we are going into an archmage so two demon hunters two intellectual based heroes in the keeper of the grove and that um and that archmage what will we be seeing here well some basic defense making sure to protect themselves always important and uh, well quick scouting footman actually getting entangled here and gonna get taken out quickly there's that one final shot that early early uh, keeper of the grove entangle causing some problems meanwhile this ancient of war clearing out a relatively easy green creep camp relax able to hold on to this ancient of war since he wasn't greedy um, and trying to take down an orange creep camp and was able to finish off this footman here and also now take down this forest troll shadow priest he should be shy of level two though meanwhile um, we're looking at xlord gonna try and train up here try to clear out this orange shop creep camp getting up a couple of archers but where's that keeper of the grove no uh, where's this demon hunter demon hunter is down to the south here gonna be exchanging blows there there's another mana burn right there as if well Falio forced to retreat back out. Meanwhile, the Keeper of the Grove off to the north is going to head down to the south as we're looking at the Archmage try to clear out this No Warden Creep Camp and get up this expo going. All right. It looks as though the Water Elemental is going to get taken down quickly. A couple of Militia and Footmen trying to finish the job, get it cleared out. There are a lot of units here, though. And if he's not careful, one of those Peasants may end up getting taken down. All right, there goes that Null Overseer. L only a couple of Brutes left. The Peasants should start working on that Town Hall, or at least the Arcane Tower, to offer a bit of protection. Meanwhile, Keeper of the Grove get getting in a nice entangle onto that Demon Hunter, causing some more problems as the Demon Hunter now picks up Boots of speed back off to the north side and um, well ancient of war gonna well, try and get stay alive stay repaired this is a lot of damage that ancient of war being forced to retreat back trying to lose a little bit of that aggro and now gonna re-engage as the archers are trying to lose some of that aggro again this is all very aggressive by x lord as we see the demon hunter get up to level two picking up boots of quote the loss and now picking up a second circlet of nobility all right two circlets of nobility very very high stats on this level two demon hunter plus 10 agility and um, dealing plus 10 additional damage and you're going to see that last ogre magi getting taken down back across to the side here archmage demon hunter level two archmage sitting at level two as well he does want to do bring over a little bit of healing over magi here to finish off this one or water elemental to finish off this ogre magi i believe he actually level five creep may be able to get him to level three here or get very close there we have it level three level two water elementals are on the table is he going to pick up anything else yes a dust of appearance all right everyone well playing um playing some well games against the computer right now clearing out these creep camps as the two night elves with demon hunters did do a small confrontation in the middle so far though relax trying to come back across the other side perhaps does and um, does have the opportunity to clear out some easy easy um easy units oh water elemental getting the last hit on that unit there as the demon hunter comes back around demon hunter he gets entangled and naga see which gonna go ahead and get trained up there demon hunter cold arrows perhaps didn't realize it couldn't see around the trees and now was in a little bit of trouble archers trying to fall back here as the footman and archmage gonna try and dive on inside relaxes base no real base defense this is looking very very poor as the keeper of the grove and naga see which now well rush back to try and defend a couple of wisps 
draining those moon wells as there are still a couple of wisps back across here. Keeper of the Grove shows up to the party and is now trying to get some damage onto that Archmage there. Meanwhile, Tree of Ages tech has been completed and a lot of crazy fighting going around every which way all at the same time. Expo down to the south is now nearly is done and we're getting up a barracks as well as having that arcane tower for a little bit of base defense. No, um, no sign of an expo being placed off to the north here. Ancient of War off to the side here. We are at Tree of Ages going for the Ancient of Lore. Only a single Ancient of Lore though, as the Demon Hunter of Exord wants to get to level 3, perhaps clear out this Ogre, Lo Ogre Mauler creep camp. What is the Naga, dual Naga Sea Witch Keeper of the Grove? Are we going to perhaps be looking at some Orb of Venoms as well as we're getting into Ancients of Lore and an Ancient of Wonders off for Relax? It looks like there's going to be a lot of, well, Dryads and Bears as the unit of choice as the red team seems to be doing a better job just clearing out the map, getting a higher experience, but um, we know that the purple team has that economic advantage with that new, uh, with that expo down to the south here. All right, mana burn there. Demon Hunter down to 48 hit points. He's going to be able to dodge a little bit of that alive by giving it more effective hit points. Circuit of Nobility is dropped. Yes, going to go ahead and drink back up and pick them back up. Already back up to 825 hit points. And now transferring the Scroll of Town Portal so the Demon Hunter can perhaps grab a survivability item. Meanwhile, Archmage has transitioned into Rifleman here. Circuit of Nobility going to get picked up. And from here, um, I believe that the human player is just going to well, start to crank out more and more units. It is a dual racks, surprisingly so, with one at the expo, not the blacksmith. And we're still looking at more creeping now coming in from the purple team. It seems like the purple team is taking this opportunity to get um, a little bit more hero levels while the red team is now trying to put in pressure onto the main base. Are we going to see an entangle onto that? Yes, entangle onto the Druid of the Claw. This is going to be a quick, quick death right there. Um, not even in bear form as we are still checking the Tree of Eternity. Archers, Dryads trying to put in pressure here. A lot of piercing damage against all of these buildings isn't going to do much, but it is still a threat. Where all of this piercing damage adding in slowly over time, going after the moon wells that still have a little bit of moon juice in them, is a smart, smart call as the Archmage here is getting mana burned and perhaps going to be denied a little bit of his uh, a little bit of those water elementals water elementals would be a double-edged sword anyways as relax does have those um, those dryads dryads getting shot in the back right there piercing damage catching it completely off guard meanwhile blizzard coming back around and going to force all of these archers to retreat we're looking at the paladin down to 15 hit points he's trying to retreat away demon hunter going to get in the final shot there meanwhile paladin falls at level one drew to the claw joining in on the fight are we going to see a return in tail angle onto any units. Naga Sea which could be in trouble. Scroll of Town Portal quickly being used. Mana Burn and Archmage. Wow. Dual heroes in the red being forced to use that Scroll of Town Portal. And now we're trying to look at that final kill on that Druid of the Claw there. No kill there. Three of the four Scrolls of Town Portal used in order to retreat back. All right, a little bit of a reprieve here. What is a demon hunter doing? Trying to he head back to the shop there. Ancient of Wonders being built in a curious position and unable to do all of it, sh um, all of the shopping. Um, if you want to sell something, you actually have to run all the way back there, but it is fairly well protected. Level three, level one for X-Lords heroes. Meanwhile, we're looking at level three, level two for, um, well, fa uh, Phaleos heroes here as the demon hunter also picks up a orb of venom. All right, Orb of Venom. We know that that damage over time does stack across multiple targets. So if, if we perhaps are looking at some more ranged units, even a, a Priestess of the Moon with Orb of Venom and True Shot, or we could be looking at a lot of what range damage there. Hey, thank you for tuning in. Granite Golem going to be easily taken down here. Rock Golem and Granite Golem trying to do their thing. And the Naga Sea, which will be getting to level 3. Alright, coming back around. Roar being brought to the party this time around. And that is going to be some big damage bonus, especially for those bears that deal their full damage against these Ancients of... of well, no, take reduced damage um, from normal, but not nearly as reduced as it is from that from those archers. Alright, Mana Burn coming across here. More poking coming here. here Archmage 
trying to use that Blizzard effectively to shut down or at least cause a bit of problems. There's an Entangle stopping the Archmage in its tracks. And now, uh, well, trying to use Anti-Magic Potion, buys a Potion of Mana. Demon Hunter trying to retreat all the way to the back here. Does it have any easy way to heal? It does not. So no Druids of the Claw a rejuvenation as the Demon Hunter could be in a little bit of trouble. All of this fighting across here, a uh, Purple trying to, well, reinforce as that is a lot of low hit point units across the board. Both sides are taking heavy, heavy losses. Archmage gets up to level 4 here. Demon Hunter still trying to keep a little bit of distance. Brings in a scroll of healing. And now that is a lot of low hit point uh, Druids of the Claw. Are we going to see a bear? Demon Hunter gets taken down. And all of these units, a Fork Lightning would have finished off many of these bears. Demon Hunter falling at level 3. Naga Sea Witch falling at level 2. As we're looking at these red, um, red Druids of the Claws still able to put in with a little bit of pressure. Rejuvenation now going down. Perhaps Perhaps a well, Rifleman going to get easily finished off here as the Keeper of the Grove trying to back away. Perhaps trying to finish off that Naga Sea Witch. Naga Sea Witch down to 38 hit points. Down to 30 hit points. Are we going to see an uh, Entangle? No, we are not. Not enough mana. Keeper of the Grove actually unable to keep up as the Dryad going to get another attack there. All right, a Dryad. Well, gets in the damage, but the Naga Sea Witch still able to slither away. Levels up to level 4. Druids of the Claw now trying to retreat back here. And, and we're still looking at this fight raging on here. Demon Hunter down to 65 hit points, down to 43. He gets staffed to preservation back home as the Altar of Elders is taking quite a bit of damage. Druid of the Claw here needs to get some rejuvenations going down across some of these other low hit point Druids. As you can see, um, they're just not long for this fight so far. Naga Sea Witch exchanging blows, but there's so much micro that needs to go on across so many low hit point units. This battle could go either way. Blizzard now coming across here. Fork Lightning not hitting all of the necessary targets as we see a, a deny right there. Both sides still fighting their way through as we look at some cold arrows now being brought back over. All right, Demon Hunter back up to full, ready to push in with that pressure again. There's another Fork Lightning. Drew to the clock getting saved at the last second again as the Naga Sea Witch trying to pull back. All right, Bears transforming back there. There's a nice quick blizzard. A demon hunter going to be able to finish off that rifleman. Dryad's trying to push in with the charge here as the night elf base could now be in trouble. Only one ancient of lore left. Mining is still getting underway as well, we are looking at fa uh, Phaleo with that economic advantage still, but sitting in low upkeep. 14 gold a second or 20. Is it 21? or It is currently... Um, well, 24 gold a second for the purple team. Meanwhile, for 7 here, um, 17 gold a second for the red team. Recovery is um, a big part of this, though. Are you going to be able to save more and more of these units? There's another Holy Light trying to save those units again. Druids of the Claw coming back across. Scrolls of Healing used across multiple units as the Riflemen do not want to get within the swipe range of those Druids of the Claw. Units trying to exchange uh, blows back and forth again. Druids of the Claw retreating to the very far back as the Dryads are getting picked off slowly but surely because of that piercing damage. Demon Hunter down to 51 hit points. He's trying to escape back there. That's a lot of low hit point Druids of the Claw here. No staff of preservations as that Demon Hunter does have a potion of invulnerability and uses it at just the last moment. That is only seven seconds trying to use a scroll of healing to keep these units alive and try, well, keep this army together. These fights are just lasting much, much longer, mainly because they're 2v2 battles and the coordination to try and keep everyone together is just that, um, or keep your army together is just that much more difficult. It's like trying to drive a manual transmission car with two people. Sometimes you stutter out a little bit and get yourself into dangerous situations. Both sides getting themselves into a little bit of a dangerous situation here as the Demon Hunter does get a holy light in time and is able to he uh, well, hide in the back of this purple base. Rejuvenation should be in order for that one demon hunter getting back into this fight momentarily as this battle of attrition is really taking its toll on multiple sides level three now on that paladin but a quick holy or mana burn making sure that the paladin unable to get a holy light off keeper the grove trying to keep up with that naga sea which should be able to do it oh in the middle of the animation to cast the entangle the naga sea which turned the corner and was out of sight so many close calls in this fight. This can still be anyone's game as Phaleo now trying to retreat back with that low hit point Demon Hunter. All right, Archmage. Well, bringing in the Blizzard. That That is level three Blizzard. That or I think that's level four or level two Blizzard, actually. Uh, level two Blizzard, maybe level three Brilliant Aura, perhaps? Or, well, 
uh, yeah, level three brilliance or a level two blizzard um, that damage as it's hard to get all of those waves off with, especially with the what well, with the keeper of the grove trying to get in some entangles as well. Archmage bringing extra mana to all of these friendly units. Perhaps that is the reason why these Druids of the Claw have been able to get off so many rejuvenations. Paladin needs a little bit more mana again, and it looks like Purple is holding on ever so barely. The tipping point may have been reached as Red now being forced to retreat back. Failio got some critical wounds, but he's been able to consistently mine and get and keep his economy going. Now, what is Red going to do at this point? They need to clear out some of these gold um, gold mine creep camps, clear them out, and, and set up expos of their own. Otherwise, they're going to be in a situation where they're not going to have any more gold after the next long, long battle. These battles of attrition, well, taking heavy tolls on both sides as the Archmage sitting at level 5, um, not quite... Um, not even halfway to level 6, but really a major, major threat. Alright, what is going to go down here? We're looking at this red granite golem creep camp. A quick stun right there. Demon Hunter going to get to level 5. Naga C, which is staying at level 4. Demon Hunter going after the granite golem creep camp first. Will get to level 5 here and may try and staff a preservation at Demon Hunter home. Um, little does he know that the Demon Hunter and Naga Siewicz are actually very close and uh, close nearby here as the Demon Hunter now trying to walk back here. All right, a little bit of damage. Granite Golem gonna get taken down. Legion of Doomhorn and Tome of Strength plus two. The Demon Hunter could have Staff of Preservation back home, but instead by being here actually in a fairly decent spot. Mana Burn exchanges going back and forth here and both sides still fighting their way through. Level two, uh, level four on this Demon Hunter. So 150 Mana Burn versus 100 both sides still trying to start clawing at each other naga see which forced to use the scroll of town portal to try and retreat back is that demon hunter gonna get a bear yes he does able to finish off that bear in time meanwhile in the base of the human army dryads and trians causing large problems uh, perhaps a tactical retreat to try and head back out though and head back home as the human army was getting there in time with that well focus fire rifleman damage could have aimed that squirrel of town portal a little bit better perhaps and um, forcing a little bit of a congestion here everyone's going to try and move out and well in a game in a real-time strategy game and tempo and a time is a very big deal right now demon hunter um, needs to spend the, spend some time get some get some of these druids of the claw back into um, back up to full health here you can see some of these druids are purposely staying in a druid form regenerate a little bit of mana but these other druids of the claw could also go into druid form and make that rejuvenation go a little bit further dry is now trying to poke back down onto the southern side here and we see the both sides and bases being established there's an entangling of a gold mine now while human already has another expo set up across off outside of his original starting location all right druid of the claw taking quite a bit of damage abolish magic holy light gonna save here as the demon hunter well on the wrong end of a bunch of focus fire and needs to try and figure out a way to engage all of these riflemen 600 or 600 range i believe they outrange the dryads yeah they out outrage the dryads pretty significantly and um, therefore they're able to have more layers scroll of town portal inbound are we going to see you have one dryad quickly taken down there oh there goes another dryad just a target practice shooting them down so quickly um, in those bursts meanwhile red now trying to put pressure in here onto the main base again as the dryads um, well, forcing a 2v1 fight as the human army trying to re-engage here. All right, taking down these moon wells is a little bit of damage, but really not all that much. Um, not subsequent, not substantial damage here as, well, suddenly Exlord finds himself retreating from a 2v1 fight. However, this is going to buy time for Relax to perhaps put pressure on to either the main base or the expo. Taking down this position off to the north would be just as effective, if not more effective, as there are more workers there. All right, 
Nagasi which trying to come back around. Perhaps we're going to see a Fork Lightning. This is a two-on-one fight against Exord, who is, well, retreating all the way back home. But when you're retreating back home, unless you have a fortified position, this two-on-one fight is just going to become a problem. Nagasi which trying to fall back here. And the Staff of Preservation for a save as the Jude's Lakal are now trying to make their way towards into that main base. All right. Keeper of the Grove, perhaps going to rotate back across to the north here, fight inside the main base, and now home field advantage belongs to Exord, but there is just too many units here. However, the Riflemen are actually in the wrong spot. They're in the front line position compared to the Druids of the Claw. The Druids of the Claw are not able to engage. However, the Archmage, with all of that Blizzard really raining down much more damage, Exord is in some serious trouble. All right, there goes one and Demon Hunter there. Nagasi, which falls at level four, um, as well and we're still looking at more damage still raining down across all of these units there goes another drew to the claw there nagasi was trying to drink from these moon wells, trying to figure out a way to stay alive but the blizzard of um, of Fabi able to really eat through all of these Druids of the Claw, allowing the Riflemen to continue to poke apart. This is the strangest, strangest position here now as the Riflemen are actually able to fight behind these Druids of the Claw. Now the Dryads are in position and the Dryads actually have good separation from these Riflemen based on the positions here. All right, both sides exchanging blows again and again as the Archmage and well, doesn't want to use Blizzard as it's just mainly Dryads in this front line spot. Purple is somehow able to win out of this fight here. There's a lot of red Druids of the Claw off to the side here. Paladin is, is still getting plenty of mana as the Archmage is now up to level 6. All right, level 6 there. There is some more Blizzard raining down, trying to cause a little bit of separation here. Paladin, well continuing this battle here as Druids of the Claw are showing up behind enemy lines as the Demon Hunter, or behind friendly lines, actually, as this almost feels like a reverse siege on a town. All right. A bunch of units trying to hide in the back here. Demon Hunter of Felio able to finish off one Druid of the Claw. Is he going to be able to get off another? Yes, he is. And now he's trying to retreat away down to 289 hit points. Mass Teleport able to retreat back out. 35 supply and 51 supply going up against about well, 51 supply here and 24. All right. Oddly enough, Exord had set up this gold mine, had entangled it, but had not yet saturated it. There is no gold being mined from here. Um, that's perhaps about two uh, a thousand gold that could have been useful mass teleport inbound and with mass teleport available everywhere well the human army is everywhere it wants to be all right a little bit of pressure a little bit of damage are we going to see some holy lights drew to the claw could easily get focused down here as we're looking at this gold mine slowly getting mined out Archmage really shouldn't be trying to blizzard here unless he actually sees wisps off on the side. There you are. There's the wisp finally making their way over. Blizzard it did get started, and all those wisps are going to fall. Paladin um, able to get in another holy light there as the demon hunter of purple trying to retreat back again. All right, the lines are just all a little bit odd here as we're looking at this final demon hunter down to 208 hit points trying to retreat back again. All right. Demon hunter down to 104. Archmage with level 3 Brilliance Aura, that mana regeneration simply through the roof. Um, we're going to now look at Mass Teleport, head off somewhere else, and regroup. Perhaps some Holy Light is going to be needed again, too, as these two armies are getting ready to position themselves and fight each other again. All right, it's been a crazy 2v2 matchup going back and forth. Drew to the Claw, well, Drew to the Claw is trying to give a little bit of chase here. Economic update. Relax does have one operating gold mine now. Meanwhile, we're looking at, um, well, Fabi, who is about to be on one operating gold mine as well. The southern gold mine here already running out of gold. That is what that gold mine's been operating for about 20 minutes and with only well 12,000 gold to start that does well, the math works out both sides exchanging blows difficult to tell who's going to be able to well work together 
and overcome their opponent. Mass Teleport, however, able to easily and quickly protect this expansion. And, well, this did cause a little bit of separation for the two. Now, this gold mine off to the north, 8,000 8, gold here, perhaps moving the Tree of Eternity for Exord into this position and getting that economic advantage back away from their opponents since the southern gold mine has already been mined out. All right, this Tree of Eternity, what's happening here? Mass teleport inbound. We're going to see the purple army show up and try to offer a support here, but it was quickly, quickly cleaned up. Both sides fighting their way through. No easy AoE damage for this rifleman army. And as the Archmage is just well, raining down a blizzard again and again, not hitting that many units, but still um, well, a debilitating effect if you're trying to fight against it as you're trying to constantly dodge that blizzard. Keeper of the Grove is out of mana. Paladin falls at level, fi uh, level 5, though. Archmage uses a Potion of Lesser Invulnerability and is now going to turn back around and use Blizzard again. Also has a Priest trying to offer a little bit of protection as the Demon Hunter gets up to level 6. All right, level 6 on the Demon Hunter. Archmage forced to use a Scroll of Town Portal to retreat back out. Some of these units could actually accidentally get separated. Yes, the Archmage um, is going to get separated as we are looking at the Purple Demon Hunter getting taken down here. All right, both sides fighting their way through. Um, Demon Hunter falls at level 5. There's a mana burn there to try and prevent any additional damage as the units are falling back again. Entangling the gold mine should be um, happening momentarily. There goes another Druid of the Claw as the Archmage teleports back um, with the rest of this army. But remember, he's not looking that strong. Scroll of Regeneration and Clarity Potion, uh, but no easy heals as the Paladin is currently out of commission. Naga Sea Witch with those cold arrows. There's a quick taunt right there. Keeper of the Grove trying to retreat back and it looks like the Mountain Giant will end up being left behind here soon. Couple of Wisps um, ready to jump inside that Entangled Gold Mine once it is done. And we're looking at well, relaxing in on a 47 over 80 supply, perhaps bringing in the Demon Hunter Myth Metamorphosis could be a, a big enough deal. Demon Hunter trying to fight its way through. There's Metamorphosis, range chaos damage, and suddenly the Archmage could find himself in a lot of trouble. That is a lot of damage. Keeper of the Grove gets an entangle off, and Archmage suddenly falls. Paladin arrives to the party a little bit late, unable to do any additional saving as that Demon Hunter's ranged chaos splash damage really racking and poison damage racking up the damage once more. All right, Yuna's trying to retreat back. Purples, well, Treants are trying to come alive, joining in on the fight as well. Demon Hunter could try and put in more pressure, perhaps finish off this Demon Hunter. Here we're looking at a little bit of cold arrows going down, and this Demon Hunter in Metamorphosis could end up in a little bit of a situation. Is he going to get staffed to preservation to back home? But it wouldn't be back home. Um, I believe the Tree of Eternity is actually in the wrong spot. He'd end up down here, and that's not where he wants to be, as you can tell by that Druid of the Claw who's a bit lost right now. Meanwhile, Relax has found this expo off to the north, and with the Archmage out of commission, no mass teleport inbound for the save. Keeper of the Grove also coming uh, coming back over here. We're looking at a little bit of cold arrow damage onto that Goblin Shredder. This is going to get taken out. Keeper of the Grove just shy of level 6. Going to go ahead and scroll up Town Portal to try and save somewhere. Where are they teleporting? All right, teleporting down to the south here. All right, Keeper of the Grove could get a uh, tranquility and and with an with well things are the way they are tranquility would be a big big boost as we are now looking at the rifleman able to just easily pick apart dryads if they are not careful all right Ancient of Lore, Rifleman trying to come across the back here. The well, Ancient of Wonders and Ancient of Lore still able to put in quite a bit of damage as we're looking at more damage fall through. Demon Hunter exchanging blows back and forth. There goes an Entangle. Demon Hunter unable to go after that other Demon Hunter here as he's about to level up. There's the Fork Lightning and there's the Tran oh, there's the Entangle. Are we going to perhaps look at a Tranquility here? Demon Hunter falls at level 5 now as everyone is going to try and retreat back. All right. Little bit of tactical retreat in order. There goes an entangle. Dryads with slow poison, cold arrows, all of that gonna translate into three dead, well, human units. All right, the Ancient of Wonder is gonna get taken down. This Ancient of Lore also gonna get taken down as well. And that is gonna be the game. Relax and X-Lord able to outlast their opponents in this 2v2 matchup going back and forth. 
both sides trying to get well every or ev use every hit point on their units and in the chaos there was just so many low hit point units that could have that this game could have gone either way w what did you guys think about this game let me know in the comments below